Hey guys, welcome to another one of our reviews. I'm the Worm, this is the Proton. Uh, today we're doing another review of a device we did receive free of charge. Uh, this will not affect our review in any way, shape, or form. It will be a true and honest review as always. We did receive this item from firstvape.co.uk, which you can also use ProWorm for 10% off when you uh, make your badges. Why does it seem like you're reading from a script? I don't know. You can also use ProWorm. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Alright, um, basically guys There really is no script there <laughs> There isn't a script, we don't do anything about script um, Basically guys, what we're doing today is We are doing the EVOD kit from First Fate um, We did do the EVOD from First Fate But this is just the kit, I think kind of Show you what you get Have a little chinwag about it, it's kind of, kind of standard procedure for us um, So basically, what we're going to do Price is £39.99 um, for your EVOD kit for your money, you get uh, two EVODs uh, in the colour of your choice, black or silver, uh, two matching batteries, 650mAh uh, batteries, uh, the USB charger for it. Um, you also get five atomizer heads included, as well as the two that are in the EVODs already, so seven in total. Uh, and you also get a wall adapter. Okay, um, so straight away off the bat, I'll just send this to um, someone I bought one the other day. Um, they paid 45 quid for this kit, did not get a wall adapter, um, and they paid more for it in general. So. Thumbs up for the price of that straight away, and the fact you can use Pro Worm and get 10% off it as well, which is wicked. Um, basically, this is how your kit comes. Ignore it's just a business card. Uh, thank you, Dave. Mm -hmm. um, basically, it's just this is how your reward comes. They sent us sent it to us in black, which is a massive thumbs up because we love it in black. Um, and basically, you open it up, and you've got some instructions, which is there, uh, which is thumbs up. Love having instructions. Not that I ever read them. But for people that aren't quite kind of as clued this up as we are. This is a starter kit sort of type thing. So a starter kit with instructions, it's always a thumbs up for us. Yeah, definitely. Decent set of instructions is invaluable. Um, again, Dave's also sent us down this in there. And I imagine you get exactly the same thing as well, uh, which shows us your... Oh, uh -huh. There you go. It's just a little card showing you can But on the back, it's got your recommended volt ranges uh, for your atomizer heads, um, which is, again... A thumbs up, um, just purely because it's nice to have sort of ballpark feelers. It recommends 2.4, 2.6 volts, 3.9 to 4.2 volts. These batteries are 3.7, so maybe run slightly on the lower end. Um, but this is why you get your choice of atomizer heads uh, when you replace atomizer heads from a site. You can choose your your ohms and have a little play about, see what you think, which is always good. Do you want to take take your weapon of choice? Okay, basically, you guys, this is what you get in there. Sorry, I'll just show you quickly underneath. Underneath there, on the, oh, what would it be, your That's right, your heads. right, this one is replacement heads, and that there, uh, this side, is your USB charger, uh, again, and you get the wall adapter as well, which is a big thumbs up, I mean, most of us have got USBs, but just in case you don't, it's there, and also, I imagine it will charge slightly quicker from that wall charger than it would a lot of yes. computer USBs and stuff, so that's another thumbs up as well. But anyone that does charge as quickly is from, like, Xbox and your Playstations, which do have a higher uh, rate uh, higher ramp, higher amp charge rating USB on your port. USB, basically, based on your front. It probably isn't the same on your back of your PS, uh, your PC uh, USBs are normally higher amps, but the ones on the front are generally lower. Just because they're safer for every device, so you can just plug in whatever you want into your front of your computer. But going a bit off topic. <laughs> Guys, as is the starter kit, I am going to go into how you charge these batteries, just to be sure. But right, when you get your kit, you'll have your EVOD and your battery in one sleeve, and you have EVOD and the other battery in the other. Your charger is basically. Oh, you're going to go. Oh, we're going all up close up, and everything I have to get up. Um, right. Okay. That's how your charger looks. Right. You literally take your battery to it. Oh, if you haven't got shaky hands like me, and you just screw the battery in. To the charger, which I'm making look incredibly hard, and it's not, I promise. All right, literally just screw that into that, plug that into your wall adapter, stick it into the wall, and it will charge it away for you. You've got a little light indication on your charge to show you when it's fully charged, which is obviously a good thing. Um, 650 mAh for a wall button, two, three hours charging time, I reckon, on these. Plus, you've got two of them in your kit, so you can have one on charge while you can have one. Again, guys, these are uh, safety ones that you could press on five times to get your button to flash white and to come on, and then it will light up white whenever you actually press the button. Well, again, five uh, quick presses to turn it off again. So on and off, safety feature, always good. These batteries are lovely small, beautifully small, um, which is wicked. Really, really cool stuff. Um, together, they look amazing. Again, you know, do you want to point out the rubberized on this as well? It's very, very nice. It's better than your other standard EO batteries you've had before. This is um, it matches the rubberized coating on the yes, e It feels really, really good. It's really, it feels like a very good quality. I think whilst we're talking about quality. These are genuine Kangas. Um, to a lot of guys, maybe not. that means nothing. Um, price doesn't always dictate quality. Uh, it very rarely dictates quality, if we're honest with you. Um, you can buy 
EVODs at like two quid a throw from certain American sites. You can buy what they call Kanga batteries from certain sites at five quid a go. These are not genuine products. Trust me, quality is going to be suffering and they will break very quickly. Um, these are genuine Kangas um, and that is obviously a very, very good thing, especially for the price because they are more expensive other places. They are. Um, should we do? Should we do a fill? Should we show you Berlin? Do you want, I'll let you show Berlin. Yeah, sure, uh, okay. Do you want to show to remove that mouse head? Since this is a bit full, we're going to talk the tail just to make sure right, that you are someone who doesn't. Screw your uh, EVOD off your battery. Uh, we're going to get in close here, guys. Uh, we got your EVOD there. Literally, just unscrew the base. We'll just take the put the top over there for a minute because we're not showing fill in. This is your actual atomizer head. Just screw that out of your device, and then you just pop your new one in. And then screw it back onto your device if this does burn out. And you get and the other plus with this is because these are bottom filled. If this blows midway and you've got a load of juice in this, hold it upside down, rest it in something, or stand it upside down. It's got a nice flat surface on the lid, so you can stand this up. Take this off, re put your new head in, put it back in. You're all good to go, and you don't have to waste any e juice on this. So yeah, basically just screw that back in. Might as well show filling it. Should fill it there? Oh, we'll put in some vanilla. We got. Uh, Basically, just hold it at like a slight degree, maybe 45. Get the juice flowing. Can't really see this guy, sorry, so I'm just kind of guess the main. Can you see the window there? Yeah. It's 45 degree down the side wall, guys. Uh, and then you'll see your juice as it starts to come up. Uh, these hold 1.6 mil of juice. We never measure exactly, but around about there is where you want to go to. Okay, so you can just see your silver nub. Do not, do not get it down that uh, central tube because you will end up with e-juice in your mouth uh, are we, are we, okay. and there's your bottom just place it back on and screw up it's as simple as that and you're filled that is literally how to fill a Kanga e-bod um, it's very similar uh, to pretty much every other clearomizer out there um, it's very good stuff uh, as one pointed out with the e-bods if you do a cool blow midway if you are not happy with your coil or whatever else if you just want to change it because your flavor is not quite as good you can literally pull it out mid-juice um, and Chuck a new one in, no problem at all. These cores are inexpensive, I believe it's five for 10 quid, they're available or two, one for 99 each actually, and you get your choices of resistance. Um, even if you're going through these heads quick and you're not putting them in vodka or not washing them out, you're just gonna use them until they're dead and thrown away, you've got minimum of a week with them. If you're using just one, bear in mind you've got two, that's kind of two weeks for two, yeah. minimum, realistically, a month for two EVOD heads, so a fortnight each, yeah. four quid a month. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Oh, I'm going to more quickly. I do want to point out quickly, guys, just why he's filling his. Uh, these are clear risers, technically, so I always seem to give them a couple of dry pulls without pressing any activation on the bottom, just so that liquid is saturated up that wick as much as it can do, so you don't get any dry hit or burning or tainting the wick straight away. So that's pretty much just enough. I'm going to turn your battery on, fire brick, clicks, it's going to flash white here to say that it's activating, and then. You're vaping again. Oh, this is really good. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, I've just filled mine. As you can see, it's not hard to do. Um, like we said, we have reviewed the EVOD uh, for Dave already. If you want to check that out, more than welcome. I think he's put it on his site if he hasn't, or he's going to put it on his site if he hasn't already. And it's also on uh, our channel as well if you want to check the EVOD review out. Um, with the EVOD, a few of the positives I'll go through whilst I'm having a quick little vape, uh, and I'm sure you'll pick up where I leave off when I start. Hmm. Uh, straight away with the EVOD, these things will wick all the way to the bottom of the tank. Okay, you're not going to have to do any of this rolling stuff because the juice is on top of the coil. It will literally use all of that juice until there's no more juice left. Um, big positives, you can see your juice level through your kind of what I want to call STV style case, um, which I love. Um, it's just it's a very very good clear I'm going to let one second over before I flap into it all, and he's got nothing to talk about. As you can see, guys, um, this is. I don't actually know what this is actually in here standard. I'm assuming probably a 2.5, but off of a 3.7 battery, this is beeping really, really well. It does seem to be that with these bottom coils, you don't need to push them as hard to get the same sort of um, performance that you do need to do out of like your CE5, sort of like your top coiled uh, atomizers, basically. And um, this is working really, really well. It's, it is definitely a cooler vape because it is running at a lower, uh, lower voltage on a higher resistance ohm coil, but the flavour is going through really, really well on these. Really well. I mean, we said this in our previous one. We were very, very surprised about this because we have had terrible issues with Kangas in the past. But this EVOD just seems to perform. 
that, that they seem to have overcome all their issues that they had with their other bottom cord uh, devices. This one kind of makes up for it because it works extremely well. These are fantastic little clearomizers. To be honest with you, um, those of you guys who watch us regularly know what we think about the Nova. I actually prefer the vape of these to the Nova, if I'm honest with you. They've got the airflow just right. It's not too loose. It's not too, um, it's too I want to say stiff, but too tight. I suppose the airflow of this, since it's on a Kanga battery, seems to be a little bit more loose, but still nice. Mm. For me, if I had a 1.8 atomizer head in this, this, this uh, vape would be slightly warmer. Um, compared to what I usually vape, I vape things incredibly hot. Um, I mean, for example, oh, that is an A7 um, with a 0.5 ohm coil running at about 4 volts. Um, I, I run things ridiculously hot. This, quite happy satisfied by this. We're using some 70-30 PG VG juices in here, so not mass amounts of vapor from uh, compared to some of your higher VG juices. And the vapor from it is loads. It's really, really good stuff. <clears throat> the flavor of these evils, as we said in the review, very, very good. If you're looking at this, because this is a starter kit, and if you're watching this video, you may well be looking at this for the first time. The temperature of these isn't dissimilar from a cigarette. No. Um, it's just compared to some of the stuff that we vape, we vape really warm. Just our personal preference, really, more than yeah. anything. But um, our general advice, we, we used to give out advice of C5 and an EO variable battery as a starter kit. To be honest, this is a much better kit. You're getting everything you need with it, plus you're getting two, two batteries, clear -misers, two, two clear -misers, five extra A heads, a wall charger, plus a USB charger as well for 39.99. Plus you can get an extra four quid off that. We can put in the Pro One promo code. You're saving yourself a bit of money there, and you, for plus delivery as well. You're looking at 40 quid all in, and you're good to go. This is a very, very nice starting kit. Very nice. The vapor thing is actually amazing. I mean, I've been using it. I'm still kind of like, what the hell? Um, I've been using this A7. And the vapor of it, it's good, but uh, this uh, this this shouldn't feel like this does in terms of the amount of vapor it's giving out, and it does. I don't know if it looks like it, but it, it, this e board feels like it's performing in terms of it's not in terms of flavor or anything else. It's not going to be, but in terms of the amount of vapor you get, really surprised, especially since we're running these quite cool. Mm. Um, just, they're very, very good. Uh, we tend to do a five-point hit list for those of you guys who haven't watched any of our videos. This is the first one, um, and they would be looks, usability, maintenance, flavour of vapour, and then our overall kind of rating of it. I think we're going to do that for this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, looks on this thing in black. This is a superb looking. This is a ten for looks. It really is. The way it just comes together, the way obviously it's meant to fit, but the way they've done it so well it is seamless. It really is. I do like the way they broke it up a little bit of the black with a little bit of silver in the middle. Then you've got the top clear. It's a shame you can't change that top. But other than that, it's a 10. Looks for me is a 10. I absolutely love the way this thing looks. This is this to probably well, to be honest with you, this is gonna be my sort of go to going out e -cig. Um if I'm going down the pub, that kind of thing. It's just no nonsense vaping. It really is you it's one of them things that when we first started vaping, even up until about a month or two ago, I was going to say we're recommending C5s, V3s, Novas, that kind of thing, with a battery that you buy in bits and you kind of combine your own kit. Never been a big fan of buying kits um, because they always seem like you weren't getting the best for your money. That's not the case with this kind of kit. But you, I would quite happily and have happily recommended EVODs to people. Um, I actually recommended this kit the other day. Um, it just... It, like Worm said, you, you get exactly what you need. It's very good quality stuff. It blends seamlessly, unlike if you buy a V3 and another battery. And you, it looks good, but it doesn't yeah. look as good as this. Um, it doesn't perform as good as this, even more importantly, in my eyes anyway. Just, yeah, it's a 10 for looks. It's absolutely amazing. I love it. Usability. It is, right, let's break this down. Battery usability is a 10. All batteries are, you just got to maintain the charge in them. 10 for that. For your clear road. Your EVOD. It's really easy. That eight head comes up so easy without losing any juice because you just turn it upside down when you're taking it out. It's easy as anything. It's probably the easiest one on the market at the moment that I can think of out of Clearos. It's a 10 for Clearos in its range. Together, it's just a 10. Usability just is. Just add juice. Just It literally is just add juice. And that, that's the thing I like about this kit. Is the, when my friend bought his and said, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing, can you help me out? And I showed him how to do it. And I said, literally, all you've got to do is add juice. And I think that is 
it, uh, the only way I can describe it really in terms of like people like us who have bought a lot, uh, I mean a lot of vaping stuff and obviously we've received even more through reviews, um, charming this kind of setup, it's just got a little bit of a charm to about it, it's just literally a case of all I need to do is buy this, buy a bottle of juice and I am away, I'm happy, job done. Um, usability as well as just said, you put juice in, you push the button and you're vaping. 10 it's just if you're a first time buyer you'll, you'll kind of look at this kit and go well it's obviously more complicated than smoking of course it is um but compared to the vast stuff that's out there this is really lovely simple stuff to use very very good maintenance on this uh, thing obviously maintenance of the if we're going to battery again battery again maintaining this battery charging it clean out that top uh positive well if if it starts to get a bit mucky in there with some, maybe some over wicking issues with juices and that, but you're not going to have this problem with the EVOD. So if you, as long as you don't put any other device on this, you're pretty much going to be fine for that. Just keep it charged. For the Clearo maintenance of this thing, you haven't got to waste juice on this when if the uh, actual head dies. I'm going to show you right now because I've got juice in here now. Completely full. Completely full. Just unscrew that. Keep this upright. Take that out. You go a finger. Put this down. Whichever way you feel comfortable doing it. Replace your top. Back in it goes, you've maintained it and you've not lost any juice. Whereas with other devices, you have to wash them out and you have to waste that juice that is in there. As, I mean, that's one negative with other devices. I mean, you can waste a full tank of juice, which one and a half mils is like 20 if I've a bottle, which you can get from anywhere between six to 20 quid. If it's cost you 20 quid for a bottle of juice and the premium stuff does, um, a 20 of that's a quid. A tank has cost you a quid just to waste it to change your head. You haven't got that with this. Um, that's one drawback to the others. The other ones, uh, the coils at the top, you do get slightly warmer bait, but then you've got to roll it to keep them wicks permanently saturated when you get under half a tank. That can then thicken the juice up. The vaping experience isn't quite as good. You don't have to wash it out because the vaping experience isn't quite good and you need to get it clean again. We don't get any of that with this. Yeah. Um, the only, it's just uh, 10. <laughs> I don't really know what to say. The maintenance for a, for a starter kit, it's this so is like this is what we the vaping community, everyone needs. You need to make this easy for people coming off cigarettes because otherwise I go, I don't get the point of it. And this kind of stuff is what's going to help people give up the fags because they're not getting overcomplicated by it. nonsense. It literally is unscrewing that bottom, replacing that head, screwing it back in. Just that is done. it. That is your maintenance. Except for putting in more juice and charging your battery. 10. Flavour and vapour? Flavour and vapour of this thing. The, the vapour is cooler, but it is more like your cigarette. So again, for a starter kit, really really good it's not going to be too hot and not going to be really uncomfortable on your throat or anything like that it's going to feel more like a cigarette type simulation sort of thing so yeah the the, the, the vapor is kind of cool but you get plumes of it you really do off a of clear this is really really good it really is it, it's you've got to bear in mind this is like pretty much the, the lower ends of the stuff you can buy and this is still performing as a dripper near enough not in terms of flavor not in terms of the same flavor just for vapor the same flavor you are losing a little bit compared to your higher end devices but if you're coming for the fags this is going to blow your head off with flavor it really is yeah, definitely. when i first come off for cigarettes i went straight onto a v3 and the flavor i was getting off it was just like it was smacking me in the face it was like well this doesn't taste like fags or ashtray in my mouth this is awesome so yeah Flavour is going to be, if you're coming straight onto this from a cigarette, it's going to be like a 9. When you get into your more higher end devices, it's still only going to drop to like a 7. Vapour is just going to be consistent to pretty much any device out there that is in the relevant price range. Once you get into the higher price ranges, it is going to get slightly better and dependent on your juices, obviously. But you don't really need to know that right now. You just get your juice, get this kit, and you're good to go. Simple as that. Your other stuff will come. And flavour vapour, for me... Um, flavor compared to some of the badass devices that are out there that I mean this you have to wrap coils and I'm not joking after a place pretty much every day because of how I run it um, which doesn't really work out the cost effective as I made it out to be in the video <laughs> um, the flavor compared to something like that is like six the flavor compared 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 to other clearomizers and even ones that are more expensive the the kind of the holy nova should we go there I think we should go down uh -huh. It's better. Uh -huh. The flavour out of these in its class is a is like a, a nine point nine. I, I mean, I don't think I've actually tried another clearomizer that tastes better than this Evo does in terms of what it does to the flavour from the juice. Uh, this is uh, cherry red. Well, it's red cola, but it's cherry coke. I'm going to try. I'm going to quickly try this but oh, I mean. <laughs> 
yeah, the flavors are very good of them. It's slightly muted compared to the drippers and stuff, but it is what it is. Vapor off of these, better than any other clear I've tried. Um, it just is. I mean, you've got, when you're a vapor, you've got two ways of vaping. You've got, you like your cigarettes, you take it into your mouth and inhale it, or you can do full lung inhales. I've kind of become a fan of the full lung inhales over the last couple of days. Um, the vapor of this thing, for what it is, is a 10. Compared to other devices like your dripping atomizers and stuff, still an 8. And for a clearomizer, that is incredibly good marks when you compare it to something that's cost more than this entire kit does just for the atomizer. Um, so, yeah, it, it's, a, it's a 10 for me on vapor, and it's an 8 on flavor. It's very, very, very good. Yeah, I'm going to agree with those ratings wholeheartedly. Overall, as a starter kit, 10. I'm not going to go into everything. We've been into the, every category very well this time. It's just a 10. Compared to other starter kits, it's a 20. It blows them all out of the water. This just smashes every other starter kit that we've ever seen. It really does. If you're looking to go into a starter kit to get off the fags, this is where you want to put your money. If you just want a run around, go to the pub, don't care if you lose it kind of kit, one of these. If you're into other kits, that is. Yeah. Um, I will, for me, as a starter kit, is a start 40 quid. Get your pro M on there, it works out 40 quid, or it works out 30, 36 quid for this without your juice. You chuck in a bottle of juice, it's 50 quid to start this yeah. um, instead of smoking. Or a, equivalent to what, a week's worth of fags for me, if I was lucky. To be honest, if I smoke in Taylor, it's probably half a week's worth of fags. Yeah. It's unbelievable. It's an unbelievable kit. And it's not just because it's the price. It's the performance you're getting for your price. I mean, Worms said compared to other kits of 20, I do want to quickly throw in off the top of my head kits that I've seen a lot of on a lot of sites. For your standard kit, you'd get a C5 clearomizer, which isn't a touch on this EVOD. You'd get two 650 mile batteries and you'd get a charger, similar to the one in there that you screen to charge it with. And you also get an Ego case, um, usually, and if you're lucky, maybe an empty timber ball, yeah. right? You're paying 60 quid for that kit. The V3s or the C5s aren't as good as this. The atomizer heads are more expensive. They don't perform as well as this. The batteries will not feel as good quality as this, and they're not made to blend as perfectly as these are. It's a continuous length of width and length the entire way down, and you get your drip tip, or your, or your not drip tip, because you can't, it's a fused tip. It's a fused um, tip on this bit. But looks-wise, it doesn't work as well as this. You don't get a case with this. I'm sorry, you can afford to buy one. You can get one for like four quid. All right, your pro worm will get you your case. Um, if you're that fussed about it, use the, cap, the box you come with. Yeah, Stick that in your bag. But or these, these you got. I mean, these are small enough that you just chuck them in your pocket or top pocket out there. Done job. Job done. Um, Buy yourself a lanyard. Lanyard, yeah, lanyard's a good way to do it, yeah. Or a, or a little case, you can carry some juice and cut asparagus heads with you if you was to need them. Um, yeah, yeah, as a starter kit, we hadn't actually used one of these starter kits before today. Um, or I used one the other day briefly, but then actually get to use it and just put it all together, so I kind of got to feel it. Um, this would make me recommend this kit. Uh, I will recommend this kit from now on, in fact, uh, especially from First Lake because Dave's a lovely bloke, service is wicked and everything else. But usually I would say, no, you want to put it all together yourself because you get the best of everything that way. I'm sorry, this kit is the best of everything. You've got a nice quality battery, a battery and it is the buttons here, unlike here, so you, 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 you're shortening it slightly, which is a good thing because you're getting the same, but it's not quite as intrusive. The button feels like a better quality straight away. It's nicer to use. And it just blends seamlessly. As a as a kit, it's amazingly good. Um, we we kind of hated Kanger before Dave kind of sent us down an evil to try it, and I was like, I love this thing. Uh, Worm tried it so much so that he actually bought one himself. Uh, and getting this kit in, in the hand is just sort of reaffirming that I'm I really really am enjoying the new Kanger products. They look awesome. They perform even better than they look. And for the price, you can't beat this kit. You just can't. Fantastic kit. Get everything you need, um, and all you want to do is add juice. What more can you say? Just definitely recommend this. Definitely recommend this. Give it a go, guys. Definitely give it a go. Yeah, no, I've got nothing more to say. I really okay. haven't. I, I mean, it's going to sound false if we keep saying, Yeah, do it, do it, do it. It is, if you're looking at start kit, this is where I put my money. But that's where I'm or looking. Or if you're at. looking to get someone that you know of fags, mm. chuck on one of these. It's yeah. cheap enough that it's not going to blow your oh, budget. Great Christmas present. Yeah, Something like that. great Christmas. Present. Yeah, so yeah, I think that's all we got to say on this kit. Definitely thumbs up, definitely yeah, worth a try. Yeah, a uh, big thank you to David First Vape for sending it down to us for review. Um, yeah, lovely bloke, with your site, go and have a look. Yeah. Think about it. Yeah, um, I, mean, I don't know if I have the mouse. I've got the second video in a row, I've had the control of the mouse. Way! Um, right, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. I've been Mr. Proton, it's been the worm. See you soon, guys. Oh, I can't find the button. Anyway, we will see you soon. <laughs>